Oh, there's so many selections. Thank you for letting us see this, Olivia. Sure, no problem. Do you know how I use your washroom? Not at all. It's right through there. to see my doctor and I, I had some some new tests done yeah and, and, and what what they say I, i'm gonna find out you're going through this alone i don't i don't really think you should be you know what i just i really don't want natalia or philip or anyone else to find out i mean you're the exception yeah and i, I will i think that's yeah, i respect that but if i'm the exception why don't you let me you know i could help you handle some of this yeah Really? And what if I said you don't get to say no? I, I don't want you lying to Natalia. Well, no. no it, would, it wouldn't be that kind of lie. I mean, friends, right? I want, I want to do this. So if you I, just I, take, no, hear me out. If you take this, you wait outside for two minutes, and I'm going to come with you. I, I, I don't think you should just give me two minutes. to rush over here and then they just take me. Uh, Olivia, Olivia, I know. They make you wait. That's med school 101. I think it's a required class. <sighs> got a small smile on it. We don't know what they're going to say. I know I'm dying. I am. It's fact. Well, you have a lot of living to do as well. It's not just this. What is it? It's Bill, you know. He's, he's changed and... Now I'm worried about Emma. So if something were to happen, he becomes the legal he can't, guardian. I can't, he can't get he can't get custody of her. He's he's not in any condition to be a father right now. Right, and maybe maybe I can help out in this department. You know, I did go to law school and hopefully it wasn't for nothing. Oh, oh okay. I'll pay. Oh, you'll pay. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Spencer. Hi. Hey, thanks um, for coming in. Sure, I can. Yes, please. Um so how did those tests come out? We were hoping for better numbers, to be honest. Okay. Um, when I first met you, you said something about a heart transplant? Yeah, yeah I have to be uh, honest about that, too. Is this where you talk about the really, really long list that she has to get on? Excuse me, you are a... Detective Ituro. Gus Ituro. Malin Spalding's son. Ah. Oh, I got your attention. I see. Well, see, Miss Spencer here is the mother to one of Alan Spalding's most favorite granddaughters. And uh, I think my family bankrolled this hospital. And I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the money got spread around to all the departments, probably including yours. That it has. Oh, good. Well, here's my question. Would that have anything to do with her placement on this list, sir? And by the way, that was a fantastic job earlier with that presentation. Really, I, I mean it. I am so happy that I kept you around. Oh, Lizzie. What a surprise, Dad. I'm not in a rush. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that I saw Natalia earlier and we had a nice talk. We are getting married, yeah. okay? Yeah. It's the end of it. Yeah, we well, sound pretty sure of that, don't you? Dad, um, I know that you think you had a shot with her or you think you have a shot with her still, but why don't you do everybody a favor and for once in your life come to terms with the fact that this time you lose. Oh, no, I don't. Leave him alone. Excuse me? Can you just be honest with me? I want to know what is going on with Gus. With Gus? Because mm -hmm. we are this close to getting married, so why are you going after him? <laughs> 